welcome back to my channel I am so super excited <laughs> I have a new bag to unbox with you guys um, I actually took a little look so it's not gonna be a true unboxing but I put everything back together <laughs> so it's gonna look a little better I just I just had to do it and I the bag came two days ago and I literally didn't have time to you know record a video so yeah I had to look so anyway before uh, I'm gonna show you what I have you guys just a quick story for like the last month maybe a month and a half I've got obsessed over this certain handbag and um, I'm I'm literally gonna eat my words because a year or year and a half ago I told you guys that I'll never spend money on this type of handbags and unfortunately I did <laughs> and uh, okay long story short this handbag is like impossible to get unless you live you know somewhere close to Chanel boutiques you have very good essays you know and you can um, they can kind of call you and tell you hey we have this handbag or this and this in stock would you like to buy it I probably the past two weeks or so I called probably every single major Chanel boutique and I've got so many good um, essay recommendations and I text all of them none of them had the handbag or like you know kind of similar that I was looking for so anyway I was so kind of discouraged <laughs> but my husband end up um, actually my husband helped me end up finding this so uh, let me show you what I've got and then I'm gonna tell you the rest of the story so all right let's just do it so the handbag came with all the box and you know the ribbon and everything what you see in here and this is obviously the magnetic box as you can see it here here it is <laughs> so the handbag came in this black textile you know dust bag there's a little um, string I guess you can just pull it so are you guys are ready to see <laughs> oh my god I'm so excited there we go it's hard to take it out <laughs> oh! <laughs> so this is Deville or Deval tote but in the small size it has those two long straps as you can see but there's no a lot of straps here on the you know as the bigger tote um half and you know the bigger tote the typical the veil tote that you will see all over are available and um it seems like you can just go ahead and purchase with no problem most of them but this particular ones in the smaller size are not and they are so super hard to find so long story short this handbag is brand new um, it came from fashion file my husband and I we spotted it on fashion file I originally wanted a full black like a boucle by the way this is the boucle with um, like a lurex so if you look at the Chanel logo it is a little bit a little bit sparkling and there's some sparkles here and there you know as you look at the you know the canvas I don't even know how to call it but this is like kind of a thick very thick canvasy material but it's a boucle so it's kind of very nice very uh you know pleasant to touch and then my husband really likes the camera doesn't really pick up the sparkle that much my husband really uh like this lurex kind of you know it's a saddle sparkle let's put it this way it's not anything that you know super shiny and by the way on the camera the back uh color looks much lighter it's it's like a darker gray in the um, yeah <laughs> and all the plastics is still attached um you know to the hardware everywhere i was just looking around there's everywhere plastic so this handbag was listed as a brand new and like i said came with everything and i originally wanted to have it in all black but the black ones were like almost a thousand dollars over the retail price i end up buying this handbag from fashion file for the retail price so um the retail price is 2400 dollars um they already had this back like 20 or 30 percent off 
uh, from you know so it was originally it was overpriced everything what they have you know when it comes to this particular size it's like six seven thousand dollars more even even more um, so they really <laughs> they really you know push the prices up which is kind of ridiculous but um, I was not willing to pay you know being way overpriced this was just too much so because this one was discounted and um, you know end up meeting the normal price that you would pay at the store I believe this is from summer of 2019 because came with the authenticity card and uh, I did some research this is 28 series so this is one of the newest one I believe this is like a summer of 2018 so last summer you know so what six months ago six seven months ago you know um yeah so i'm super super you know happy about this yes i wanted the black one but i was not willing to pay uh you know three four thousand dollars for it. that would be just ridiculous uh it is still expensive for what it is that's why i said in the past i will never you know spend money or, or you know kind of a cloth um material handbag but you know the obsession was there and it's just literally it's been like a month and month and a half like I have been really searching and looking for this handbag so what do you guys think I think it's really really beautiful it feels like a smaller laptop I don't really carry laptops with me so I don't have a problem I carry music with me like an A4 format and it fits beautifully there's just really um, no problem I have it stuffed right now this is how it looks inside i still have a by the way fashion file text uh looks you know pretty plain inside it's like a gray textile lining the color that you see now it's more like a color kind of outside because this with my light shows a little bit lighter so anyway um yeah there's a two like a small slip pockets in here as you can see on this kind of section there and the zipper packet is right here and that's where I have the authenticity card right there so yeah so this is pretty much you know it's very simple and of course it's a you know magnetic closure and um, yeah I think it's really 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 beautiful I love it I oh, even my husband said like I love the little saddle sparkle and you know um, what do you guys think <laughs> you know I wear a lot of jeans so I feel like this handbag will be just perfect um, you know I usually would wear like this you know this kind of a sweater blouse that I have and I pair it with the jeans and some jacket or the nice you know kind of sweater or something and I feel like this would be just perfect this is more like an you know everyday handbag it's pretty simple you know these are the sides this is the back the other side is the same there's no obviously feet on it or anything there's like looks like there's a little panel that it's probably supporting like the bottom a little bit more but uh, I wish they would put a feet in here you know probably would be a little bit better and um, if you do have this bag do you use some kind of like um, a shaper or organizer because you know obviously it's a soft handbag as you can see um, the bottom yeah <laughs> the bottom gets a little bit you know can get probably a little soggy I don't know um, but yeah maybe I'll put some of my stuff in here and see how it looks but um, yeah I love this bag I think it's just such a great it's gonna be such a great like my kind of uh, work everyday bag I just I am obsessed Okay, so I grabbed my diorama up because that's what I have been uh, using recently. I'm gonna uh, take the stuff from here and I'm just gonna try to put it in the Chanel. And, you know, we can see kind of how things look in here. So um, I also brought, like, there's two, like, books with the, like, a music books. So as you can see, they fit beautifully in here so I think it's just gonna be perfect because I can just put my stuff in here and then let's see so I have my cosmetic um, this is a toiletry 15 I'm gonna put it in here up front then I have my wallet and a bunch of keys let me grab it here so I have my um, Chanel gray uh, boy wallet and I have Louis Vuitton key uh, key holder and then I have a bunch of key on the 
other Louis Vuitton clay so I can just kind of throw it in here right in the middle and then I have some tissues um, hand cream anti-bacterial gel I probably could put in that cosmetic case but that was all those like this so I can probably even use um, what is it called the toiletry pouch 26 you know because I often use it with my uh, Neverfull so I can probably do that so yeah let's see if I can close it there we go so now I have stuff in it it's it's not really poking through I think it looks pretty good what do you guys think um, certainly if you have like a smaller laptop it will fit in here and you know the bag itself it's super super lightweight because you know there's barely any leather you know this only part you know and there's a little leather like a tabs here on the side so yeah that looks pretty cool I like it yeah so I put a bunch of sorry the packs are sticking up so I just throw things in here so I feel like this is going to be just perfect like everyday work handbag all right guys so this is it for today <laughs> that was like really quick unboxing but i just want to share this with you i want to start using it <laughs> because i'm just so excited you know i feel like some of my chanel bags are just a little bit too uh fancy like uh, my double flap i really never wear to work um i do wear my reissue to work and then i have the red kind of a clutch which I don't wear to work because this is more like going out kind of a handbag. So I feel like this will be really good alternate, you know, because I want to have, I like my stuff. <laughs> so I'm super, super excited. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, I could have bought the bigger one, but I really don't like, I think it's too big. Um, I don't like those little handles and I don't like the positioning of the longer handles. I feel like they are just too close to like the middle, the center of the bag. If they were like a little bit, you know, kind of on the side, I think it would make more sense. But they are just right by the, those narrow handles and I just don't like i feel like it's very awkward to have two straps like in the middle of the handbag so um i'm not a big fan and i besides that i think it like it's just way too big and i generally try not to carry a lot of stuff because you know i just don't want to <laughs> you know carry all the crap with me so this handbag will be perfect i think now for the summer for the spring you know i just Ooh, I'm so in love with this. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. And if you do have this handbag, uh, let me know if you use some kind of like um, shaper inside or maybe just like the something that you can buy for the bottom. So um, I don't know. I just I've never used it. So I don't really know how it's going to behave. Uh, but if you have any recommendations and suggestions, please let me know. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to click on the notification bell. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys!